You're watching Six Fox News. I'm Hans Christian Smith, and today we remember a decade like no others. The 1780s will truly be a decade for the history books, as a decade that had it all, revolution, invention, innovation, and food to commemorate. In tonight's broadcast, we will explore these facets and many more aspects of the 1780s. God bless America. Here is Abraham Smith on a couple of driving issues in American society. Uh, oh, hello there, Mr. Smith. Uh, I just want to ask you one question. What are your thoughts on the current state of uh, society in America? Well, in lieu of the recent exchange of power in the American colonies, I believe people have progressed in the correct direction towards acknowledging and appreciating every individual's contributions to society. Undoubtedly, Challenges in finding the ideal balance have made a path towards true democracy harrowing, but adv the advances we as a society have achieved nonetheless should not be underestimated. <clears throat> Alright, thank you much. And uh, just to follow up, uh, did you feel the same under British rule? Those saucy Brits were foul-born scut, of ill-faced plague upon America. Sodden-witted finch eggs, all of them. Muddy bloodsuckers were bleeding us dry. Good riddance to them, their spongy cats, their whining toads, and their mongo apes. Disgusting savages of the old world, I tell you. And now it's time for the 1780s Kitchen! Hi folks, welcome to the 1780s Kitchen. This week's dish is sure to make your faces shrivel because we're going to make some clobber, which is a sour, yogurt-like concoction. First we need some milk, so I'll be right back. Now that we've got this sweet, white liquid, we've got to let it thicken and ferment. So I'll just let it sit in the sun here and take a quick nap. Ah, looks like I've woken up just in time. Let's take a quick taste test to see how it turned out. Back to you, Hans. Now we go to Matthew Christian Smith, reporting from the field. Hello, Hans. Because of the tense relations between America and Great Britain, many colonists have switched to drinking whiskey and hard cider rather than beer. Also, due to the new alliances between France and America, many Americans have become more willing to try French cu cuisine. Speaking of the French, uh, we don't really talk to them r right now. Uh, they're a little busy right now. Let's just say that um, our revolution may have inspired them a little bit. Uh, back to you, Hans. Along with cooking, other popular activities in the 1780s included cutting wood, splitting wood, stacking wood, and of course, burning wood. This, of course, is due to the fact that most Americans in the 1780s, except for a few privileged intellectuals, were farmers. Especially in the South, the primary crop was tobacco, which was grown on plantations, often using slave labor. While many colonists still go to church, churches have been seeing a steadily declining number of members over the past decade. The 1780s saw a number of very important inventions, including the steamboat, the steam roller, bifocal lenses, invented by our good old friend Benjamin Franklin, and the threshing machine. Also, the 1780s saw the first ice cream made in New York. However, things were not so good for the Native Americans. The end of the Revolutionary War meant that settlers were moving into native lands at a faster rate than ever before, and disease among natives was common. Here we interview one Indian. So, what are your thoughts on the revolution against the British? I don't know. Uh, and, and I'm sorry, you said you were from the, uh, the Oneida, the, the Potawatomi, the, the, the Ho-Chunk? Nah, what are you on, bro? President George Washington has suggested educating the natives in order to teach them of our civilized ways and rid them of their barbarity. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, what have you brought for me today? Water for you, the fire water. Oh, what is we hope you have enjoyed this historic and introspective look into American life in the 1780s. This is Hans Christian Smith signing off on Six Fox News. To all of you, have a good night, a great year, and don't forget... 
Join or die. Woo! Rolling camera. Scene two. No. Scene one. Take two. Watching Fox Six News. Nope. Cut. Take three. A suggested edu ed educate. Stop. Join or die. 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 Oh, plant that is nasty. What is that in there? <laughs> Food coloring and water. Uh -huh. Oh, hello there, white man. Hello. <laughs> Colonies. Wait, where'd it go? You see, he's good. Pon America. Sodden, sodden, wooded. Sodden, wooded. 3.5. <laughs> Super good. I'm in the ditch now. The Potawatomi? No.